Hey guys, Will here with Media Place, and in this video, we're gonna go over two new AI features inside of Media Place. We're gonna go over image generation and speech generation. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so if we look at the new dashboard, we're presented with image generation and we have speech generation. Now what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and select image generation and start there first. And when you open this up, you'll see this is the interface for our image generation section. Now up at the top, you've got my images. And so this is where when you type your prompt and you generate it, this is where those will appear. And then we also have an inspiration page and this has over 2000 um, royalty free images that you can use at your own leisure. So you can go in here and check it out. Maybe get some inspiration for different content. Um, there's some really awesome, really realistic looking AI generated images inside of this library um, that you have access for, right? And when you hover over it, you'll see it tells you the prompt that it used as well as the style and the license of, of what that image is right now. And these are royalty free. All right, so this is really cool. Now over on the left side, I'll go back to my images here. Now at the top, this is where you type in your prompt. So what do you want the AI generator to create for you? Below that, you have a checkbox that says what to avoid. So if I turn that on, here is where you can type in what you want the AI generator to avoid, right? So maybe you say, uh, maybe you have something coming in with a, with an umbrella that you're creating and you don't want any colors with red or blue, you can say to avoid those colors there, that kind of thing. And below that you have how many images. So do you want it to generate one, two, three, or four images at a time there? And then you have the resolution option below that. So for uh, for best results, it's, it's set to 1024 by 1024, but you do have the option to create four by three, three by four, 16 by nine, or nine by 16 resolutions. All right, and then the last option you have is to choose the style, right? So if I click on change here, right now I'm set to cinematic, but there are many, many different styles to choose from. You've got Renaissance, Dreamscape, Fairy Tale. Um, you've got uh, sci-fi in there. Uh, let me go back to the box here. You also have, um, you know, cybernetic. You've got horror. There's all kinds of different styles in here that you can choose from to create these AI generated images for yourself, right? So it's really awesome. All right. So one thing I do want to point out is if you don't know what you want to prompt and you're just looking for inspiration, you kind of just want to start creating just randomly, you can choose the random button right here above the text prompt box. And if I select random, it will then generate a random prompt as well as change the style for me. So if I click it one more time, you'll see it changes the prompt itself to just random stuff and then changes my style. All right. So let's go ahead and let's kind of create one here just so we can kind of see what that looks like. So I'm going to kind of paste in a prompt that we got here and then let's choose the style here and let's go with uh, Disney Pixar and then let's go ahead and generate the image, right? So once you click generate image, you'll see some effects and then a progress bar goes across the screen there at the bottom of the button to let you know that it's then uh, making this and generating the AI image. And once it's done, you'll see it there populate in your images. And if I select that guy, you'll see that it did a really great job of creating my prompt of a woman riding a bike in a sunlit forest, right? So it's really cool. It's, it's really awesome feature built right in to Media Place. All right, so now I'm back on our main dashboard and let's talk about our new AI speech generation tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and it's gonna take me into our speech generation interface. Now up at the top left, you have an, the box to type in your script. So what do you want your voice to say? And then down below, you have the option to choose the, uh, the different style of voice that you want. So if I click on change here, I can then play across these. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but... Right, and you can see the different the styles. The truth of the matter is that you always know the right... In three words, I can sum up everything I've... Right, so you can go through, depending on what your project needs are, choose the voice that best fits you, and then input that in so you can then create that voice. Now, what I can do is if I have favorites, I can heart them here at the bottom of their, their profile. And then from there at the top of this dialog box is I can click the favorites button here, which is a heart, and it'll show me all of my favorites. So if I have go-tos for different projects, I can quickly access those voices right here inside of Media Place. All right, so let's go ahead and select this voice right here. You can't blame gravity for falling in love. All right, and let's select it. And now I'm going to type in a text prompt there. So I'm going to say Media Place is great. I can't wait to use all of these AI features. So I'm going to do down here at the bottom, I'm going to click generate speech and you'll see that it's got some animations going on and then it generates it by putting it under generated speeches here. And now I can play this back. Media Place is great. I can't wait to use all of these AI features. All right. And then from there, you can save it to your library or you can then drag it to a folder that you have within Media Place. Say for example, I've got a video project going on. I can drag it into this folder here and then access it with all my other video files, right? 
So it's a great way to enhance your projects, um, beef up a presentation you may have. There's a lot of different ways you can utilize this tool and then organize it within Media Place um, to really enhance your projects. All right, so that was an overview of our two brand new AI features, image generation and speech generation right here in Media Place. Stay tuned for future tutorials. And as always, keep creating.